people so i'm back with another video so in this video i want to talk about week four so yes we are in week four of our savings challenge so by the end of this week after we do our payment for today we should have 255 dollars in our account so let's go ahead and just jump right on into the video i do not want to talk y'all ears off so let's get right on into the video so this is week four so remember our past week our first week we put twenty dollars in which had us having twenty dollars in our account we put thirty five dollars in our second week then we had thirty-five dollars in our account last week. We were forty-five dollars in, which made us had a hundred have a hundred dollars in our account. But now we only put had a hundred dollars, but I got a hundred and nine dollars and forty-four cent, and that's because Digit don't forget Digit take extra money out of your account. So that's a good thing because now I have less money that I have to put in. So you can see on these days they've been you know they've been taking three dollars here, you know a dollar ninety-two there, three dollars here, a dollar nine here. So they was taking money out of this account out of my um, personal check-ins account and put it, in it into my digit account. So now I don't technically have to put $125 in, I have less. So it's $9.44 less that I have to put in. So let's go ahead and bring up this calendar and see how much we have to put in. So the easiest way to find out how much we have to put in is this. So at the end of this week, we're supposed to have 255. So just do 255 minus what we already have, which is the one own, Nine forty four. Wait, no, that makes sense. Am I backwards then? My numbers don't match up, y'all. Oh, y'all messed up. That wouldn't make sense if we if we had a hundred dollars here. How do we go to two fifty five? Oh, this number is supposed to probably be. I'm gonna fix that. Cause look, this one's two fifty five, but this one say two fifty. So that's probably supposed to be two twenty five. So let's do two twenty five, and I'm gonna fix this by time. Ooh, I gotta make sure I fix that. And I'm gonna email everybody. Let me write that down so I can remember that, y'all. I made a mistake. So let me see. Week four is supposed to be. It's supposed to be 225 total. So that's all right, made a mistake. We found out what it is and now we're gonna fix it. So let's do 225 minus what we got right now, which is 109.44 equals, so I gotta put 115.56 in my account. So let's go ahead and click options, save. And then 115.56 and click save. Good. So now we now we got 225 saved. I'm just so excited. So don't forget to every week, let's stay determined. Let's make sure we save. And if you're not already in a savings challenge, definitely look down in the description and start your savings challenge. Every Friday I do the savings challenge. I'm actually recording it late. You know, it's 10 o'clock. It's almost 11 o'clock here, but I recorded late, but I'm still getting it done, you guys. But definitely every Friday, put that money in your account, or you can pick a day of the week, the day you get paid. Say if you get paid on Tuesday or Wednesday, just pick a day that you want to actually save that money and then go down the list and just save it. So I'm going to go in here and make sure I change this to fix this. And I'm going to see if there's any other errors so i'm gonna add all these amounts up just in case because i don't want to have any i don't want to have any errors and now people are like i'm confused i'm you know i don't know am i doing it right so definitely start the saving challenge if you haven't started already and remember this to you guys it's just you know a small amount you know we had a big one we had to do this week but look we're gonna go to 25 dollars next week so just make sure that at the end of that week you got the 250 and don't forget to digit took money and i have other ones so let me let me show you that too really quickly just in case y'all want to see it. So I have these other ones, so I have to put more money into my rainy day fund. I definitely have to save more into there, but Digit is taking money for like look, we say four dollars and fifty cent fifty seven cents today, but they added it in these different things, you know. 
they added it in different places. So they take money out of my account, but they're still added in these different places. Like I don't even need this anymore, but I don't want to send the money to my check-ins account, which is crazy. Maybe I just need to withdraw it. So maybe I withdraw this money and put it into like the different savings challenges. And I remember I did like the first savings challenge with you guys where I just put $20 in and now look at $29. They put extra money. So I need to cancel this one now. Princess birthday, that's January 11th. So I still got time for that one. You know, we got to have $3,000. We got to get to saving more than that. <laughs> but I'm actually saving cash too for that one. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. But like the billboard, I already did my billboard, which is really good. So I had 1300 extra. I had to save. I already saved it and paid for that already. The event space, I don't have to do that. I don't have the event space anymore. The photo shoot, I don't have to do that anymore. My emergency fund, I do need to get that up. I just wasn't saving in this. I just got cash in these two. But definitely, you guys, you can find out which one you want to like set up. Like You can set up new ones for these. And just go ahead and set these things up, you guys. So if you ever want to save, save for a special thing, just, you know, just set it up right here on Digit. And the best thing is, like, look here, you guys. They took out money. Like, they took out $4.57 from my account, but they added it to these different areas. So, say if you have a deadline, they're going to try to put a lot of money in there to meet your deadline, and they want you to add to it, too. But they're going to start taking money and, you know, taking the money out, too, so that they can meet that deadline. But you got to make sure money in that account. A lot of times, I don't keep money in my checkings account, which makes it to the point where, you know, they're not able to take that money out. So, if they can't take that money out, how are they going to save for me, right? But I just make sure that I keep adding that money in here. And if you guys ever have any questions about this, definitely let me know. But again, to you guys, we have a 225 for this week. I will make sure I fix this for week four. If you guys watching this late, it's already fixed. So I'm going to be fixing this ASAP. And let me know if you have any questions, you guys. I'm definitely here for you guys. And I'm, glad, I'm happy that you guys are definitely supporting me. And let me know if you guys ever have any questions. Bye-bye.